So what's going on guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series that has heavily been requested ever since I put out on Twitter that I started learning. It's basically blocks to WordPress. So a very, very um, popular thing to do is convert, convert your static bootstrap website that you produce using blocks and it's been exported using blocks to be compatible with the world's biggest content management system that is WordPress. So I'm going to teach you guys how to set this up and we're going to dive straight into it. So first of all, you're going to want to go onto this website called WordPress dot org not dot com not dot co dk dot org it's very important because dot com will take you to the uh f the free host on their hosting one but you want to go to wordpress dot org and then simply click on download wordpress 4.2.2 click on download wordpress 4.2 again and it will start downloading this should only take a minute or two there you go it's only 6.9 megabytes very very quick five four three decompressing yeah I want to drag this WordPress site anywhere but you can call it to your desktop I recommend you keep it as WordPress you can call it whatever you like and all these file all these like complicated looking files just ignore them for the for the time being we're not going to really need them you then want to go and install a program that I've talked about before it's called MAMP there you go MAMP here it is uh, it's free you only need the free version for this um, and yeah it's it's a really really good application I recommend you wow well, it's obviously free so get it uh, they want to open up MAMP here uh, then we'll go on to preferences uh, where is it okay so if you click on the folder icon here go on find a way WordPress is installed so we've got WordPress here click select and then it knows to point to WordPress click OK and then simply start your server and then wait for this to start up there you go, I'm running at Al Capitan, uh, the beta, public beta for those of you interested. That's why I've got this um, that weird loading symbol. Anyway, going to jump straight into it. So what you want to do now is go on to phpMyAdmin and actually create a new database. So I'm going to call this uh, Blocks. Yeah, let's call it Blocks actually. And then simply just click Create and it will create a new database. So now you want to go into that. You don't want to go into... Privileges up here. You want to go and add user. Okay, so after you do go on privileges, you just type in admin, any host percentage, password, generate, and it will generate your password. You want to copy your password here, and this is where you're going to need to open up your WordPress file and look for the post WordPress config example. This is very, very important and simply open up this up in your text editor for me it's brackets for you it could be anything um, let me close down this and open up WordPress the actual WordPress folder here on desktop WordPress open there you go so WordPress config example so now you see all this and you think oh god this looks really confusing I can assure you it's not uh, so DB name database name here so for me the database was just called blocks so very very simple we just go on blocks username my username was admin all lowercase my password well you've st I copy and paste that which is right there a uh, local host which I do believe it it is now there we go if you change that from host any host to local and they will check local host which it is and everything else we don't need to worry about uh, work on this next thing here this looks really confusing I can assure you it's definitely not so what you want to do is copy this HTTP TPS all the way to where it goes salt here and then simply copy up to there open up your browser again go open up a brand new tab and paste that in and uh, then you will respond with this really look confusing looking text document. Just copy it all. See, so command C, copy it all. And basically, this you can get rid of all of this here. Backspace on that and paste in a new one. And you see it's exactly the same, just with a few more complicated numbers in. You want to go on file. You want to save as. And then get rid of the sample bit at the end here. WordPress config and click save and it will then save WordPress config and WordPress config example 
which you can then delete sample and you've got the config here which should work swimmingly. Right, now after you've done this, head back onto your local host and click go. There you go, it's now database, it's now got all the privileges that you need. You can then head in to PHP and WordPress and you get this WordPress menu here which is a really good sign so for some reason it doesn't like English UK so I'm going to set it up to how I like it English UK you can select a language it's all very very uh, intuitive and then you've got this if you go to this screen it's good if you get to an error screen but don't worry it just means you probably haven't filled in this bit correctly it doesn't matter if you just go through it double check your password the username and make sure the database name if it's if you've got space in your database name use a uh, use a like I'm not sure the name of them, but choose one of those spacing things next to the equals and plus button, and then keep typing. Make sure everything's in, in uh, colons like this. Um, yeah, that's what you really need to do. Uh, you can save this and head back into your browser. Site title, I'm going to call it blocks, username, I'm going to call myself, well, actually, we'll call ourselves. There we go. Password twice. I'm going to create my own password. You can call it anything. It'll give you a uh, very weak and weak pad thing. It'll give you a strength indicator. Put in your email there, uh, and then privacy. For this, we're not going to allow search engines to index the site. But if you want your page to be found by Google and all this, you can you can change this later, so it doesn't matter now. But I'm going to untick this just for the purpose of the video. But if you want your site to be indexed and put into all the major search engines, leave that ticked, and then so we just click install WordPress. Not now because I don't want the password to be saved and there we go and that's it so you just go into login put in your username which is there and then say password and you see you go straight in just like that perfect and that is how you set up WordPress on your site and we're ready to get going with the next steps. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give this video a like if you liked it, give it a dislike if you disliked it. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want any feedback to this video, if you need any hints or tips, or anything went wrong for you at all, leave in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you out. As I've probably had this problem before, because uh, I've done it, I've done convert quite a few websites to, from blogs to WordPress. So I know pretty much all the errors you can have. Um, I've been following a tutorial as well, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.